Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to style the diversify section. So let's jump into CSS and we are going to go to top, let's go above. So after the hero section, we have the features section. So here is the diversify and first off I'm going to get rid of the background, uh, the height because when it comes to actually uh, having our sections, we don't want them to have a fixed height. Now, this diversify section, it does have uh, a clip path, which we are going to give it to. So the color is going to be color secondary, and I'm just going to give it a padding as well. So I'm going to say, so padding for, uh, for the top, I'm going to provide different values. So padding for the top, it's going to be calc, uh, 2 rem plus uh, 2 vh there we go for the right it's going to be zero for the uh, bottom it's going to be zero and for the left uh, it's going to be calc the same thing 2 v sorry not vw but vh so this is for the top save that let's grab that and this is going to be for the left there we go and i'm going to say display flex uh, let's align the items, so align items, center, and then we're going to say justify content, center as well. Save that, center. And let's provide some gap as well, 3 rem. So, let's save that, let's uh, take a look at this. So, uh, here we can see that our content is actually side by side, so they're next to each other. And next up, what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to jump into... Uh, the styling of, for this image, I'm going to style it so we can see our section better. And then we are going to come back to the content. So the image has a class of diversify image. And I'm going to give it, this is the container for the image. I'm going to give it some uh, dimensions for this. And then we are going to tell the image to basically follow these dimensions. So I'm going to say flex basis. I want it to be 50% of its container. And I'm going to give it a background color, which is going to be color uh, tertiary. This is the third color. And display flex. And even though we have one element there, I just want it to be in the center. I don't want it to be on the side. So uh, when it comes to centering elements, we could use display flex or grid for one item as well if you want it to have a perfect center so align items not a perfect center to be centered perfectly that's the better sentence so justify content and then it is going to be center as well let's save that now we want the image to follow or to basically grab the dimensions of the parent so i'm going to say diversify image and I'm going to say image. So I want the height of the image to be 80% of its container. The width of the image to be 80% of its container as well. Now when it is 80%, 20% is going to be the white space. So I want that white space to be distributed equally, horizontally and vertically. That's why I have said that display flex, align items, and justify content. And then, uh, because we don't want the image to lose its aspect ratio, we are going to provide it with an object fit. So images, we know that they do have some sort of aspect ratio. Uh, and if you set the height and the width, both of them, the aspect ratio is going to be gone. If you set only one dimension, the other dimension is going to be adjusted with keeping the um, um, aspect ratio in mind. But if you set both of them, it, it is highly possible that you might ruin actually the, this, the necessary uh, aspect ratio so we are going to use an object fit i think we have covered this property so i'm going to save that if you take a look at it you can see so here is the background color for the section and it is in the middle of this section uh cool so let's go ahead and let's actually style the rest of the content so i'm going to style this content uh after uh, I have uh, created this clip path. So first off, let's just dive into this clip path. So there are a lot of values within the clip path, and I've already uh, discussed how clip path works. So I'm just going to provide it here. So it is going to start uh, from these values. And 
So let me just take a look at here. The first point is going to be 0, 0. So this is 0, 0. And then the second point is going to be 15% uh, in the x direction, but 0% in the y direction. So basically, we are at this, at this corner. I could zoom in. We are here. So this corner right here, x, is, is, x could be uh, like more than 20, 25. Uh, and then the y, it has come down a little bit. So I have decided that this, when it is coming down, the zigzag uh, motion, it has to be like 5%. That's why for the Y, I've provided only 5%. So, and we are moving along the X uh, axis by 12%. So 12 plus 15, 27, then th uh, 39, 51, 63. The reason that it is 12% is because the number of zigzags that I have, it has to have it has to have a direct it, it it has a direct relationship with how many times we are actually how many teeth we are giving this zigzag so if you have more teeth it means that these distance it has to be smaller but if you want to give it less teeth for the zigzag then it would mean that the distance is larger so these many teeth and the proportion, so they should look the same, uh, the, the reasonable distance is actually 12%. So, and it is going to look like this. Perfect, uh, we have styled the image. Let's uh, jump into the content. So for the content, I'm gonna say it has to be flex basis of 50% as well. So 50% is the image, 50% is the content. Now I'm going to say display flex and flex direction column. We know everything is going to be horizontal, but we want it to be in the column. So now you can see that both of them, they occupy exactly 50% of their container. And I'm going to give it some gap of 2 rep. There we go. So the only styles remaining are the styles that we need to provide the title, the paragraph, and the link. They are pretty uh, rudimentary styles, pretty simple styles. We have done them a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump into them. I'm not going to copy paste. I'm going to type them and I'm going to explain them along the way. So first off, I'm going to change the color and I'm going to change it to color primary for the title and the font size is going to be uh, font size medium, font size M. Where is the M? The font weight is going to be 500 font family is going to be main because it is a title that's why we have created the main font family save that let's take a look at it so there we go that's cool so here is the title let's go ahead and let's style the paragraph as well so for the paragraph we have the class para and i'm just going to give it a font size so the font size is going to be var uh, font size excess, extra small. This is for the para and for the link. Let's uh, put that there. We are going to have a line self flex start, not flex end. It is going to be flex start. Let's save that. Let's take a look at it. So it is flex start, align self. And then uh, let's give it a background color var color tertiary. So color tertiary. And let's provide it with some padding, 1.5 RAM, 2.5 RAM. Save that. Let's go ahead and give it a font size of, uh, okay, misspell. It is going to be the font size of small. And finally, text align. Why did I do text online center? So let's save that. Let's take a look at it. There we go. So it is a little bit big. It's really big. It means that there are some styles that we need to provide it with. So what I want to do is I want to jump into the, I believe it is the 1,000th um, uh, media query. So let's jump in here. So what I want to do here is I want to grab that the paragraph for the diversified content and the link, and I want to set it to this font size of 1.5 RAM. So I'm going to say diversify, give me the para, and then give me diversify 
the link. So diversify link. Let's save that. Let's take a look at it. So they're smaller. So if we go less than 1500, then they're going to go big. So you can see. So this is where the change actually happens. Getting smaller, getting a little bit big. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to create another media query right around 990 because this looks huge and I want to decrease the padding as well as the font size of this. So I'm going to say, let's copy that, put it right here. And it is going to be 990, so 990. And I want to grab the diversify link. What do I want to do with this? So I'm going to decrease the font size to 1.3 rem fixed value. And I want to decrease the padding to one rem top and bottom and two rem left and right. Stick all good. So now this looks a little bit bigger, better, not bigger, but it looks better. So what do we want to do next? So first, let me let me just make this window bigger. It looks cool. It looks okay. I don't think there is anything else that we need to do here. Um, the only thing probably here would be... Mm -hmm. Why does this font... Uh, it looks a little bit bigger to me. So if I go to font size 15 pixels, this one, it has to be 15 pixels as well. So computed... 15 pixels, so it's just an, it's an eye error. My eye has errors. There we go. So we are done so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to decrease the width of the screen. And we are going to visualize how they are going to react. So this one, let's take a look at it. So min width. No, not min width, this is max width. So from 990 pixels and downwards, we want the link, uh, the font size to be 1.3 and the padding to be 1 and 2. Okay, so where do we want that? Where do we want uh, this section to uh, turn into from this? two column to become a one column. I think this is the good point. This is a good point because our paragraph, it is it is uh, becoming very small. And uh, let's see. So I don't want it to look like this. What I'm, what I'm going to do is write around, let's say, around when is this change happening? So this change is happening around 800. 48, 850. So before that change happens, I'm going to convert this uh, section from two columns into a one column. So I'm going to create another media query right here. So I'm going to say at media screen and so what do I want to do? So I'm going to say max width. This is going to be 870 pixels. There we go. And in here, First off, let me take a look at the, uh, so we have, to, do we have that uh, 800? Oh, we do have that. So it is the hero. Okay, I was wondering about that. Okay, so for the hero, we have provided that. So I'm just going to provide the other one here as well. So for the diversify content, I'm going to grab the diversify class, and I'm going to say flex direction. It has to be call. So they're gonna they're taking 50% of the entire available space. And now you can see that there is an issue here. The issue here is that uh, we don't have enough padding here. And this section, for some reason, it, it is looking gigantic. So first off, I'm gonna um, uh, first I'm gonna delete the padding left. So first let me get rid of the padding left. It doesn't look cool. So I'm going to say padding left zero, and now it, it is taking the entire space. That is cool. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to come up with some padding for this section. So I'm, I have to provide it with some padding top of, not like that, padding top of, let's say, 5 rem, I assume. Okay, that is not enough. I, I, I could increase it to 15 rem. Let's take a look at that. That is too much. 10 rem. 
it's probably okay there we go so this is padding 10 rem and you can see that zigzag is how it is actually working the uh, smaller the width of the screen is the more the zigzag is going to become prominent but for some reason this title is very 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 small so what we are going to do is we need to actually go ahead and we need to fix that as well so mm, you know you know what first uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to fix something else here so the padding for this is it seems very very much it, it seems a lot too much and i'm going to grab the diversify content this uh, 10 rem is too much i'm going to set it to 8 rem and i think that is better so let me just uh, increase it decrease this i think this is okay so let's grab the diversify content and i'm going to set it a padding so the padding top is going to be zero padding left is going to be sorry padding right is going to be one rem plus uh one vw padding bottom is going to be zero padding um so for top and bottom it's going to be zero for left and right it's going to be one vw save that okay it is still in the center that's okay let me take a look at it where is all that padding coming from so if i select this section here is my padding this is the entire section and it is in the middle of this section okay i think that is cool i could bring it to one side that i think is going to become better and that is where this is actually happening so i'm going to say flex direction is column align items flex uh not end start so take a look at that but this doesn't look cool as well so I'm, i could say center so align items center everything is going to be in the center and that was the way it was before so i don't really have to do it do anything here now the image it looks um gigantic uh now what i'm gonna do with the image is i'm not gonna go ahead and i'm not gonna uh, make it smaller so first i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna decrease the padding from around the image so have i provided any kind of padding for the image now one thing that i uh, that i want to take a look at is our hamburger menu so when i toggle that in yeah it is on top of the image that is what i want to do now if you want to go ahead and make the image smaller you don't really have to do that because when you decrease the width of the screen the image is going to go smaller but um what we could do is we could uh, get rid of this distance that it has on the top let's take a look at that what that actually is so we have diversify image so this one it has some padding uh, padding top zero percent so what is that that is the container for this image and we have said okay the image it has to be a line item uh, line item center and a justify content center but i think it would um probably will look better if it is aligned towards the top of the container so i could say we are going to take a look at that if we don't like it then we are going to just revert it back so align items flex start so take a look at that um let's bring this down hmm i think hmm. uh what if the image covers the entire area and we, we don't have these two spaces as well so the image is going to be diversify image img width is going to be 100 percent 100 come on percent so i think this looks better now originally you can see that uh if i make the window width smaller what do we do what do we have here so we are going to end up with something like this so this is what we have originally but i think this looks better than what we had there hmm so how much is the padding for this section so let me take a look at the section padding uh it is padding top eight rem padding that the padding is coming from here so if i just go ahead and decrease the padding is going to go up 
what is this distance is this because it is taking 50 percent shouldn't it take 100 flex basis 100 percent i don't know what 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 is this distance on the the right of it so this is the padding for this section i could get rid of this padding we don't really need that get rid of this styling so these are the adjustments that i'm making to the website right now right here so as far as the padding is concerned for this section not for the image i want to grab the diversify itself the section so it is going to have a padding top it just has a padding top it doesn't have any padding on the right because this is taking 80 percent and it doesn't have enough this is taking 100 percent but because it, there isn't enough content it appears in the middle we could set it to uh, be on the right we could do that sorry on the left so it, it would be aligned with this responsive um padding left column so i'm going to say align items uh, flex start let's take a look at that because there is no padding that's how it is going to look like but uh, don't we have some padding padding left is zero let's just remove that so now i don't think they're aligned that was the padding for oops for the section okay flex start for content diversify content let's think of a padding so how much is the padding for that section for the section features the padding is var padding large so let's provide it with that padding so i'm going to say padding padding large let's save that let's take a look at it hopefully they are aligned so now you can see it looks better all of these are aligned but still there is a lot of space on top there is a lot of space on the bottom and i'm going to i'm going to have to increase the font size for this so we are below 800 right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump into this media query uh, we are in here but i'm going to jump into 800 and in here i'm going to provide some more styles for our features uh, for our diversify okay so what do i want to do here so the okay so i want to enlarge that why is it looking like this why is it looking funky uh diversify your portfolio let's take a look at that why can't i can't think today i don't know why so let's grab this title it says the font size is coming from 800 features titles diversify content title so we do have that within the 800 so where is 800 here is the features and then in here i'm gonna say uh, diversify so we are also going to grab the diversify title so let's put it right here let's save that sorry for that i just hit the mic with my hand i don't know why so let's jump into here now you can see it is bigger but we don't need this much padding in here so where is that padding coming from it was from right here so padding top is 8 rem let's set it to 5 rem um padding bottom let's set it to zero okay no this is not that uh diversify content i'm gonna decrease let's just save that Let's take a look at it so this is a, a little bit more padding on the bottom than we want so i could just uh, change the padding bottom not right i'm going to say padding bottom and we're going to set it zero so still there is going to be some space that's cool hmm. so they are not aligned padding what if i provide this padding so what did i just do did i incur did i do anything wrong in here okay so 
So diversify title. Hmm. So why can't I just figure this out? So this is, why is this not aligned? Because I think what I need to do here is I'm going to grab this padding and I'm going to put it there. We don't need it for this. But in this case, this image is going to be also, it's going to, it's going to be affected. Diversify image. So this is the diversify itself. Where is this padding coming from? This padding for the title. Uh, where is it coming from? Is it a padding or is it something else? So padding top, margin, line height, font, font size, text align, center. Why is it text align center? Oh, I see. So it is coming from here, right? So I'm just going to take this title and I'm going to open another declaration block for this. And I'm going to say font size 3 rem. And let's get rid of this from here. Let's save that. Let's come here. Now everything is aligned, but it doesn't look cool on these two sides. So what I could do is I could change our image back from this. Uh, I'm just going to remove this part. Save that. So there, this is blue, this is yellow. It doesn't cool now as well. So, hmm. so I can't fix this. I'm, I'm going to bring the image width back. Okay, so image is 100%. And this space, I'm going to say height is 100% of the container as well. So now it fills it. That's cool. That's okay. But this distance, I don't think this is enough. I'm going to, um, why is it not enough? Padding left. Let's get rid of this padding left. Let's save that. Just maybe like 10 rem. Or if I go smaller or if I go bigger. Now here it is cool. So I'm just going to keep it like that. I think that is okay. And if we go really small, like 300, only the paragraphs, uh, uh, this the font size of the paragraph, it has to be adjusted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, it is very small, indeed. So I'm going to adjust it with the, width of, with the size of that paragraph. So let's see, this is the features. So the features, it is going to have some styles as well. So when we go small, let's take a look at that. So first, where is this these styles for this one coming from? Um, let's take a look at that. So here we have the features content adaptability. This is 800. So at 800, it is 1.4 RAM. So where is the 800? 800 is right here. So adaptability, there we go. So I'm going to provide it with diversify. para and I'm going to save that and I'm going to provide another one here as well so this is hero content okay so let me just make this okay now this is this is looking exactly like that let's go small let's go 300 I think we don't really need to make it any smaller they are aligned they look cool so with this our lecture our very very uh unnecessarily complicated lecture comes to an end. I don't know what happened to me, but it was my mistake. I'm sorry. So from the next video, I'm going to try to keep my thoughts in order. So that's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.